Hey, good afternoon, friends and family. Uh, we're doing a eating good on a budget. We got these um, great value 100% beef patties. I normally get the 80% lean, but these were gifted to me. Uh, so these are 85%. So that means they do taste better because I've, I've had them before. But I was just getting the, the 80 because uh, they were a little bit less expensive. But uh, like I said, these were gifted to me. I love these patties. I've been eating them for years. Uh, but I don't normally get the 85. I, I usually get the 80, but uh, 85 does taste better. I guarantee you that. Let me take you to the skillet. I got them. Um, you cook these frozen uh, according to the directions. Um, you don't you don't have them searing, blazing, uh, and frozen. So you you want them to get done, but you you, uh, you 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 start cooking them frozen, and you turn them every th two and a half three minutes, I believe. And uh, after you get the first side kind of brown, that's when you start seasoning them. Uh, I normally use salt and pepper, but I got some. Um, other stuff I'll show you in just a second. No, I don't intend on eating two patties, but what I do is I normally like to cook two patties and that way I can just warm up the second one whenever I want it, like, you know, that afternoon or the next day, which it's kind of afternoon, so it'll probably be the next day for me, but they are delicious. Let me uh, pause this, flip them, and go ahead and season them. Uh, actually, what I'm going to use for this is Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub. Uh, huh. I've used it on a lot of burgers and still got quite a bit. Uh, so it's an excellent value. I think it was like $4. But I mean, this stuff is good. All right, so I cheated slightly. I put the uh, Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub. I put a little salt and a little black pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and return them to the fire and set my timer for three minutes and come flip them. I am going to cover them so uh, that uh, stuff will uh, get into the patty better. That's what they're looking like now. They're looking, looking really moist and, and good. I'm going to let them go for another minute or so. And I'm going to plate them up. And I'll bring you back when I get it, get it put together. I'm only going to eat one now. I'm going to save one for uh, for later. And I'll put the toppings on that when I get ready to get it. But I don't like warming a burger with cheese and lettuce and tomato and all that separate. So I'm just going to bring uh, eat one now and save one for later. And that way I can just warm the patty up and dress it when I get ready to eat it. All right, folks. Here we go. I got my uh, I got my mustard on the bottom, uh, lettuce washed. Got my tomato. Got one patty. I got ketchup on top of this. I'm gonna put that on top of the cheese. Uh, that patty there is undressed because I'm gonna have that for later. Uh, I don't know if I can hold a double cheeseburger right now. I don't. I'm pretty sure I can't. So I'll. I won't do a double. But I'll dress that other patty later when I decide uh, I want to eat it. I'll pull it out, warm it up, um, and dress it accordingly. Uh, I didn't toast this bun, but that one there, I probably will toast that bun. Um, I'm not sure, but. Uh, Got me some french fries in the air fryer now. And um, I've been using the air fryer for years. And to be honest with you, I don't like grease fried french fries anymore. I mean, I'll eat them, but I prefer the air fried because they, they, they turn out more crispy for me and uh, less fat. If you like, leave me a comment, share subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you so much and have a wonderful afternoon. God bless you.